Okay, so welcome back to another Final Cut Pro X tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and get straight into this. I'm going to be showing you basically my workflow on how I would edit a rap music video, rap hip hop music video. You create a library by going to File, New Library, and then you go to File, New Project. In that library, in the event, and I'm going to name this Music Video, or it's uh, it's a music video for Champagne Room, so I'm going to go ahead and name that. And then I'm going to press Command I to be able to import. It's a keyboard shortcut to be able to import the music and the raw footage. Go ahead and import that. Okay, so all of the clips are imported, and this is all of them. By the way, I'm just letting you know there's going to be some language in the actual song and in the in the videos itself. There's going to be some profanity. Just letting you know ahead of time. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Mark, Show Keyword Editor, and I've got the option of A-Roll and then B-Roll. So you can just type in A-Roll, which is him rapping, and then B-Roll, which is everything else. And you can press Control-1 on a clip to mark it as either A-Roll or B-Roll. So I'm going to look here, I'm going to play this, and you can see he's rapping. And so this is what I would consider A-Roll. So I'm going to press Control-1, and then he's rapping, Control-1. Uh, that's B-roll, so control two, control two, control two, and basically you just want to go through all of these clips and decide whether it's A-roll or B-roll. And so now, now I've labeled every clip as either A-roll or B-roll, and so I can go here and I've got raw footage, which is all the clips, music, B-roll, and A-roll. So I've got them in different categories, and then I'm going to go to music, I'm going to go ahead and add this to my A roll just like this and then I'm gonna select all of them and I'm going to control click and press new multicam clip and so it's gonna synchronize all of the clips to the music and so I'm gonna call this synced clip and it may take a while so okay so here's the clip it just did it and you can tell it's a multicam clip because it's got this little icon the four icon and I'm just telling you if um, you can hear my brother in the background banging on the piano, I am sorry. But either way, what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to drag it to the timeline, just like this. And the only thing that's on top is the first clip, but that's okay. You're going to open it up by double clicking on it. And you want to make sure that all of the videos are synced up. Now, I've already edited this music video. And I edited it in Premiere Pro, so I'm not about to edit this music video again, so I'm only going to be editing about till here. But you want to do the, the entire video. But you want to make sure that all of them are synced up. And the way you make it synced up is that you watch it here and you see if these audio is matching. So I'm going to turn this audio on. And this is what the audio in the video sounds like. And so... Then I'm going to make sure it's synced up, and so this one's synced up, and so then I'm going to mute this audio, go to the next track by clicking this, and you'll notice that it's it's no longer playing this one. It's playing this one because I've got this icon selected here, and see if this one's synced up. And so this one's synced up. Now let's check out this one. And this one's synced up. Now let's check out this one. And terrible camera work there, my bad, but it's synced up. And see, this one's not synced up, uh, as you can tell. And so, but this is actually in the second half, and I'm not going to be shooting the second half, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that, and then I'm going to go here and press delete angle so if you want to delete an angle that's how you do it now I'm going to the next one so far all of them are synced up this one the next one probably will not be and let's see so let's see if this one's synced up oh you can tell it's not synced up at all so I'm gonna turn this on and it's pretty close though so, let me see which one. And so that one's close, but it's just not there yet. And so I'm going to try to sync these up. 
move this one this way. So I need to move it this way. And so move it this way. Uh, so you're basically gonna try to line these up with the words and just like that so that's how you sync one of those up but either way you want to make sure that all of these are synced up and so now that you've manually synced up all of the audio what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select all of these clips all of your options and I would personally go over here and go to just so that you don't get confused go to the audio and turn it all the way down so the only audio you will ever hear is this one I'm only going to be editing about here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete basically uh, the second half of the clips because I won't be editing all of this video. I'm only going to be demonstrating it on about a third of this. So now what I would personally do is I would go through each of the clips and delete what is unusable. So uh, And so the shortcuts that I use are J, K, L, I, and O, and then delete. And so K pauses, you can also use spacebar, because spacebar will pause and play, K will just pause it, and L plays it, you press it again and it speeds it up twice, you press it again four times, eight, sixteen, and then, so you can navigate through the player very fast, and then if you press J it plays it in reverse speed, just like that, you can see the playhead moving backwards, and then maybe I missed a part, so I'm going to go forward. I'm going to press spacebar to pause, and I'm going to find a place that I that I don't need, and I'm going to press I for an endpoint. I'm going to press O for an out point, and then I'm going to press delete, and it's going to delete that segment. So I'm going to demonstrate on this clip. And so for an example, I'm going to speed through this. None of those shots right there worked. Uh, let me go through these. Yeah, those were me setting up, so none of those are bad. I'm going to press O. I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to speed through this. And I got out of focus. And then I kind of like that, so I'm going to delete that part. And we're going to see if I mess up any time soon. Oh, you see, I moved over here. I really don't like the framing of that shot, so I'm going to, when I move over here, I'm going to set an out point. When I get back in the frame, I'm going to press O. I'm going to delete that part. And so. Then I'm going to go through it, see if there's anything else that I don't like that I did. And so this clip was pretty good. Then I'm going to go to this one by pressing this. And right, and so those, those are pretty good. Those were pretty good B roll clips. See, I don't think I'm going to use that, but I might use like that right there. So I'm going to delete that. Going to see if there's anything I don't like. And so he starts rapping. And let's see if there's anything. Okay, so when he gets up, he gets out of frame. So I don't want to use that. So I'm going to delete that. And then... Let's see if there's anything else. And so let's see if there's anything that I don't like. Okay, so when he said 50-50 that equals 100, he put up six fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Because I know I'm not going to use that for sure. And then delete that part. Okay, and so then we go to the next clip, and you basically do this for every single one of them. Okay, so you went through all the clips, and you basically cut out everything that you couldn't use, so the only thing that should be left is footage that you can use. So what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna go back to your project. So now what you're gonna do is this is the multicam clip, and you cut out everything that you couldn't use. You're gonna wanna detach the audio so that you do not mess with this song. And so now this is basically the cool part where you get to choose all the angles. So what you wanna gonna do is you're gonna wanna go to view and then angles 
And so now you can see all the angles. And I'm personally going to close this, and I'm going to close this. I'm going to close, I'm going to go to Window Workspaces, no, uh, Window Show and Workspace and Browser, because I don't need to see that anymore. And so now you've got, you can choose two angles, four angles, nine angles. I'm going to choose nine angles because I've got seven clips. You can see all the different angles, and when it's black, there you should not choose that one because there's no good footage there. So I'm going to start with this one. They say you never judge a book by its cover. Well, I've been being judged since I came out my mother. So I normally shot in wide, and then I shot in telephoto, and so I don't normally go from wide to wide. I go from wide to telephoto. So looking at it. They say you never judge a book by its cover. Well, I've been being judged since I came out my And then I'll just bump it to this and one. When it comes to rapping, you would think there was no other. But all these niggas bite the same flows like they brothers. And I realized there that he kind of came out of focus. So I could change like to brothers. like this one. But all these niggas bite the same flows like they and I noticed that he got out of shot so I can literally just take this and move it over and then it cuts to the other one sooner or maybe I'm like you know what I don't want to use this one so I can control click it and choose active video angle and I want to use this one instead so I'm going to go to 6511 came out my mother and when it comes to rapping you would think there was no other but all these niggas bite the same flow and so all these niggas bite the same flows like they brothers and maybe I'm the father. maybe I want to cut it to this one there instead maybe I'm the father I'm six up with no quarter these niggas selling so and so it would look like this book by its cover well I've been being judged since and I then came out my it cuts mother. to this and one when it comes to rapping, you would think there and was then no other. but all these niggas bite the same flows like they brothers it cuts and to maybe this I'm one. the father I'm six up with no quarter and I can I can just cut to this one right here if I want to okay well I realized that that one doesn't have enough good clip right there so if I'm gonna use it I would rather cut like right here so I'm gonna go ahead and change this clip to something else I'm gonna choose it to 6510 and so I can do this and this goes from wide to wide so I'm actually I'm actually gonna blade it there and I'm going to new compound I'm gonna change it to 6511 right there okay I can't use 6511 but I can do 6525 so you can do basically anything you want move this over okay so one of these is black and the other one is so so you can basically edit this however you want to uh, this is multicam editing where you can see which each of them are and you can also see which parts you don't want to use and you can choose the angle you want, you can uh, change the angle, you can also move the edit point, and, and maybe you just don't want an edit there, you can just drag it all the way and it'll take away that, that bladed part, just like that, and you may want it to be a lot longer right there. And so this is basically the wrapping part, but there's also the part where you can use B-roll, which you can use B-roll anywhere you want. So I'm going to go to Window, Show and Workspace, Browser. And then I'm going to click this icon and I'm gonna to go to B-roll. And so then I can place B-roll anywhere I want. And so here's all the B-roll. I can set an endpoint. I can set an out point. I can drop this here. Maybe I want, and then cut that there. You just drop the b-roll on top right maybe while he's doing some stuff i can drop some extra b-roll and so this is basically my workflow for editing a music video 
a rap hip hop music video, which is comprised of mostly A roll where he's rapping like here and then B roll where he's not rapping and he's just sitting there. But you can really do this any way you want. This is just a template for this basic video. Every music video should be slightly different, you know, every style is different. This is how you multicam edit a hip hop rap music video. So if you have any more questions or you have any tutorial requests, please leave them down below. Make sure to check out the music video that I created. I'll leave the link down in the description. And also make sure you smash that like button. I've noticed that a bunch of you people get too excited and you accidentally hit the dislike button. So make sure you're hitting the like one and not the dislike button. And if you want more tutorials, definitely subscribe because I'm about to probably revamp my channel. So, yes. Peace out.